Hello, my name is Miranda Rodriguez Guzman Jr. and I will be presenting AI System on a Chip, a final project for ECS 6895. The research project's goals were motivated by the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning methodologies for everyday tasks as it is consistently growing as more AI technologies become readily available for everyday use. Therefore, technological options for embedded device-based AI processing are increasing in popularity which require further study on their effectiveness compared to large-scale server-based options. Therefore, the purpose of this study was to determine the nuances and benefits of training and utilizing embedded AI methodologies on dedicated tensor processing units, or TPUs, based devices compared to neural processing units, or MPU, embedded devices, enabling the development of small-scale, local, or independent AI embedded platforms. In return, this study provided a realistic comparison to determine the feasibility of utilizing dedicated or specialized locally run embedded platforms for everyday AI or ML applications without the computational overhead requirements of traditional centralized large-scale AI data centers. Related work in this field has predominantly focused on the use of edge devices for computation on specific applications or the utilization of different methodologies for model training like deep neural networks, making this research unique as it compares two types of processing unit technologies and puts it against each other in order to determine the feasibility of their utilization for edge AI applications. The methodologies for this project, including acquiring data types of both video stream feeds and custom data sets built from acquired images in order to evaluate and train learning algorithms as a baseline to compare the performance of training and identification by TPU and MPU based embedded platforms. The dataset acquisition was collected from a range of sources including video cameras, the internet, trained red repositories, and real-world image captures of embedded devices, culminating in their usage for the training of TensorFlow algorithms. The embedded AI devices used for this project included the Google Coral TPU Development Board and the CADA Spin3 MPU Development Board. The embedded model training was performed by TensorFlow machine learning libraries and the embedded platform computation analysis was done by Geekbench 5 cross-platform benchmarking tool. The system architecture was comprised of the training data source, which included files stored on GitHub through Google Colab or video streams from a video camera, going to a Coro TPU or KDES BIM3 device, which then was used to train AI ML frameworks via TensorFlow, display the results on a display, or hardware test bench with Geekbench test file. Hardware Comparisons TPUs and MPUs are both types of hardware accelerators that are designed to accelerate machine learning AI workloads. Both TPUs and MPUs are optimized for mathematical operations that are commonly used in machine learning such as matrix multiplications and convolutions. One key difference is that TPUs are specifically designed to accelerate deep learning tasks while MPUs can accelerate a broader range of machine learning algorithms. Also, TPUs are developed by Google and are only available on Google platforms, while MPUs can be developed and used by any company or organization. The Google Coro Dev Board includes an IMX 8M 1.5 GHz quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 processor with a machine learning accelerator designed by Google in the form of the Google Edge TPU for processor with an estimated 4 trillion operations per second performance. The board also includes a Vivante GC700 Lite GPU, 1GB of RAM, and 8GB of eMMC storage, and costs approximately $129.99. The KDES Fin3 includes an Amlogic A311D 2.2GHz quad-core ARM Cortex-A73 processor, with an Amlogic MPU for machine learning acceleration, with an estimated 5 trillion operations per second. The GPU is an ARM G52 MP4, has 2GB of RAM, and has 16 gigabytes of EMC storage and costs approximately $119.90. The Google Coral Dev Board has only one operating system available in the form of Mendel Linux, customized by the Google team. In the contrary, the Vim3 platform has available five different types of OSs, including Ubuntu, Android, Fuchsia, Armbian, and Libra ELEC, with Ubuntu being used for this project's Vim3 platform. For hardware test benching, Geekbench 5 platform was utilized. Geekbench 5 is a cross-platform utility for benchmarking central processing units and graphic processors. This platform groups CPU workloads into two sections, single-core workloads and multi-core workloads. Each section is grouped into three subsections, cryptography, integer, and floating-point workloads, with each single-core workload having a multi-core counterpart. 
among the many tasks that Geekbench 5 offers. Here are some of the most relevant for this project. Some of these include AES-XCS testing, text compression, image compression, claim, camera, and body physics, rigid body physics, Gaussian blur, face detection, structure for motion, and most specifically machine learning testing. And among those relevant tasks, we can see now the single core performance versus multi-core performance of each platform. While the single core performance of the KDS Vim 3 slightly outperformed the Coro as far as computational power and speed, you can see that overall the multi-core score for the Coro TPU, although it has inferior hardware, actually outperformed that of the KDS Vim 3 MPU-based platform, even in the machine learning specific test. Object Detection and Training Proof of Concept An object detection evaluation was performed for the Coro TPU versus the KDS MPU. The library used for the Coral TPU was a TensorFlow Lite API, which was streaming a video stream via a GStreamer library that's Python based. And the model used was a pre trained object detection model for object detection on the stream. The KDS Vim 3 used the KDS Software Neural Network Python API with a YOLO v3 library, which features an image extractor based on a Darknet 53 convolutional neural network architecture. And the model was a pre trained model provided for the YOLO v3 platform. Overall, the Google Coral TPU outperformed the KDS MPU-based platform. The examples, instructions, and documentation were clearly outlined and available via the Google's Coral TPU initiatives. The Python-based APIs running on the TPU hardware performed accurately when used for the processing of video streams for object detection, and little to no lag was identified with the identification of the most basic objects like people, chairs, cups, and so on. On the contrary, examples, instructions, and documentation were not readily available for the KDS MPU. Oftentimes, tools, examples, and support from KDS MPU team were outdated or lack major support, including the unavailability of certain web pages under certain support pages of KDS. Also, the KDS NM Python API running on the MPU hardware performed sluggishly compared to the performance of the Coral TPU. While the object detection was more accurate and stable compared to the Coral TPU, there was significantly identified lag between the actual movement of objects compared to the time it took to process and display the video streams on the KDS MPU. Video Capture Demonstration In this demonstration, we can see the Google Coral TPU performing well with no lag and identifying all the objects in the stream. This is compared to the KDS Vim 3 MPU-based platform, which although was able to identify all the objects in the stream, it suffered from significant lag based on the KSNN API provided by KDS. For model training, Extensive research into the possibility of training machine learning algorithms on the Coral TPU or KDS MPU devices revealed limitations and incompatibilities for such a model training procedure. The Coral TPU based device does not support ML model training on their platform, and any attempt to circumvent this limitation did not yield any training results on the device. Similarly, the KDS MPU based device was found to be limited by its available storage on board the VIM3 development board. The TensorFlow toolsets required to train the ML models onboard a VIM3 required and surpassed the available onboard VIM3 storage. Further research revealed that the onboard model training is not available for both devices. Google Colab, a browser-based Python development tool, was utilized to train the TensorFlow model due to the Edge device's ML model training limitations. Google Colab allowed for the free utilization of Google server-based GPU resources for the training and optimization of a range of ML tasks through the Jupyter Notebook-like Python scripting. Through this platform, a MobileNet v2 image classification model was retrained to detect a range of flowers based on the available datasets of flower images. This TensorFlow model was then successfully retrained, converted to be utilized by the TensorFlow Lite-based tasks, and further optimized to fully utilize the TPU resources available on the Google Coral Dev Board. This resulted in the successful retraining of a model for image classification, as can be seen in this example screenshot of an image classification algorithm running on a Coral Dev Board successfully detecting the proper flower on a test image based on the retrained TensorFlow Lite TPU optimized model. Custom Dataset Training The lessons learned from the previous model retraining procedure were utilized on a custom dataset of images taken at five different development board printed circuit boards, or PCBs, which were utilized to train a custom TensorFlow Lite model optimized for TPU computation. A range of images were captured of these devices in a blank environment to train a model to differentiate and classify different size PCBs. 
This could have applications in small-scale manufacturing or processing applications in which edge computing devices like TPUs enabled through the Coral platform can be leveraged to differentiate different products or sort items based on custom orders or shipments. The custom dataset images are represented in GIFs for the five different platform datasets, which included 174 RDC7 images, 126 Basis 3 images, 183 Raspberry Pi 3 Model A Plus images, 206 Raspberry Pi 4 Model B training images, and 307 Feather Hoosa microcontroller training images. The custom embedded board dataset was utilized via the use of TensorFlow2 platforms to retrain a MobileNet V2 convolutional neural network classifier model for the use in the Coral TPU development board. The resulting TensorFlow model's learning curves based on 10 training epochs were visualized prior to the optimization of the retrained model. The model was then converted to a TensorFlow Lite representation and then further compiled for compatibility with the Coral Edge TPU development board via Google's Edge TPU compiler. The trained model's performance was tracked over the 10 training epochs yielding an approximately 95% training and validation accuracy and an approximately 5% training and validation loss. The final TensorFlow Lite model training procedure yielded regular TensorFlow Lite model, a quantized TensorFlow Lite model, a quantized TensorFlow Lite model optimized for TPU usage, and labels text files for the classification identification in the algorithm usage. The quantized TensorFlow Lite model optimized for TPU usage was used with a classification Python script loaded with the trained model and labels, which was then used to identify the different embedded PCBs. All in all, the retrained model performed well when identifying images with clear views of the board and had a lower accuracy with isometric or blurred images. Research conclusion. The research key takeaways included that the Linux-based operating system support was available on both the Coral TPU and the Cadence Vim 3 MPU development boards. The Coral TPU devices strong library support, superior integration into the Google's development ecosystem, and optimized OS support made this TPU device a stronger platform for ML and AI computation compared to the Vim3 MPU-based platform. Both the TPU and MPU-based devices were able to stream and identify items on a live video stream with the Coral TPU outperforming the Vim3 MPU due to the Vim's significant real-time lag. Extensive research into the possibility of training machine learning algorithms on the Coral TPU or the Cadis MPU devices revealed limitations and incompatibilities for model training procedures. The Coral TPU based device does not support ML training on the platform, while the VIM3's limited hardware resources do not enable it to run TensorFlow for full model training on device. Google Colab was therefore successfully utilized to train a TensorFlow Mobile Net V2 image classification model to retrain it to detect a custom dataset acquired for this project. This retrained TensorFlow model was successfully converted to be utilized by TensorFlow Lite-based tasks and further optimized to fully utilize the TPU resources available on the Google Coral Dev Board for image classification. All in all, both TPU and MPU-based edge computing devices proved to be useful in situations that edge computing of AI or ML tasks are required. Due to the development stage of modern edge TPU and MPU-based devices, it was found that external model training resources are still required prior to the utilization of edge computing devices. A strong emphasis should be put by any development team requiring edge AI and ML computational devices for their platform since library, development, and resource support vary drastically for both TPU and NPU-based devices. Future research could be focused on comparing the Coral TPU devices to the performance of NPU devices manufactured by larger development corporations, like NVIDIA, leading to better NPU-based support. Likewise, future research could also focus on one class of TPU edge computing device to compare the performance of the entire platform range of devices in the Google Coral family. And this concludes today's presentation on AI system on a chip, which utilized the following references for the research project. Thank you for your time and attention.